Well, let's get started in the kitchen today with Chef Laura from Celebrated Cuisine, who's going to be making a fabulous dish, salmon with artichoke caponata. 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 I don't know what caponata is. Caponata is actually traditionally, it's known as a Sicilian dish, a Sicil okay. and it can be, it's considered a relish, if you will, okay? Okay. So it's sweet and it's savory. It's got both of those components to it. I so like if, you, if you look over here, we have all of our ingredients for it right now that we're going to get started on making, but we've got a little bit of sweet onion, some diced up celery, and sliced garlic, crushed tomato, um, just puree, okay? This is a combination of white wine vinegar and white wine, some sugar for the sweetness, our artichokes, uh, these are our, obviously our pimento less, green olives, pine nuts, and capers, okay? Those are the basic components, but where mine is a little bit different, because you know I just can't do it the normal way, right. is instead of using eggplant, which is the normal uh, vegetable that you'd find in a caponata, I'm using artichoke hearts instead. And I'm I actually much using prefer it. I'm not a big eggplant girl. Well, and that's exactly why I made the I change like that, because everyone seems to love artichokes, and I hope you like green olives as much as you like black ones, so, you know, I, yes. knew, I knew they had that going. Yes. But in this case, you know, it's very easily accessible. You don't have to cook the artichokes first if you buy them marinated in, in the jar already. And so it, it's something that is... Uh, actually very pantry friendly. A lot of these ingredients can always sure. be in the pantry yeah, ready to go. Staples, yeah. Staples, exactly. And what we'll do a little later in the show, we're going to actually take this beautiful, beautiful... Why is it so red? I'm so glad you asked that. You're, you're like the Segway Queen. This is um, Copper River Sockeye Salmon. So this is wild salmon. Okay. Uh, it's running fresh right now and uh, it's in the stores. I actually bought this at Fry's Marketplace yesterday. It was only $7.99 a pound with your Fry's card if you had oh. that. Otherwise it now, was like Now it has a, a short window of, uh, in, in its season? Yes, exactly. Okay. And here Here's the thing, the reason it's colored like that, that's its natural diet. From what it eats, it gives it that color. This has no color added. Oh. So you can see a huge difference between this and, and what you would see yeah. exactly on, yeah. your, on your farm raised salmon. Exactly. And we're actually using some fresh basil today to finish our dish that came right out of my neighbor's garden. So we've got a little bit of Does she know that? Uh, he, uh, he does, actually. He, okay. he cut it for me. You should Good see this garden. It's rock. Good to know. It's amazing. Can't, where All right. does he live? What's his address? Uh, if he's down for me. You know, if he's, if he's giving out, you know, uh, these Fresh herbs. Mint, sage, <laughs> you name it, thyme, oregano, plus he grows strawberries, <gasps> melons. It's amazing what he's doing in his backyard. <laughs> exactly. We're all there. <laughs> Come to my house and we'll just Sneak go over in, in the middle of the night and get what we need to get. I'm sure Tony won't mind. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get started on our caponata. So the first thing we want to do, I'm going to put you in charge here so I can do some chopping on my own. Okay. Um, so olive oil, which I know is one of your favorite ingredients to Watch use it. for just a variety of reasons. I'm going to have you add these three things right here, the onion, the garlic, and the celery all together. And just start sauteing that so we get a little bit of color on it. And while you're doing that, I'm going to get going with my olives here. I'm just going to give these a little bit of a chop. And the same thing with my artichoke hearts. But we're not going to add this to our dish until that has a little opportunity to sweat down just a little bit, okay? And one thing we're not going to do, and you know me, I love my salt, but I'm not going to add any salt to this as I'm cooking it because we've got our olives and our capers. They're both going to add a significant amount of salt to the dish. Sure, okay. okay? That makes sense. All right, so we're just going to get started with this. Now, as far as the salmon goes, this is um, one example of what you could do. I also brought with me uh, some bread, which we're going to toast off as well. And that's because the caponata also makes an excellent topping for a bruschetta. Oh, okay. So we can uh, take advantage of that. Let me ask you about that red Copper, Copper River salmon. So you, what does it eat <laughs> that would be different than the pink variety? Uh, Do you know? Is that I, a random question? Well, it, no, the question's not random. I couldn't tell you exactly what it eats. I haven't studied up on my Copper River salmon diet. Salmon diet? Exactly, but... Um, it's it, not caponata. But I just a farmed know that. salmon is not going to be fed the same thing because it's being farmed. Okay. okay. Depending on how it's being farmed, of course. And that's why they do add the color so you can get that. But if you buy a, um, a king salmon, for example, a wild Alaskan king salmon, it's going to be very similar in color to this. Okay. Okay. But again, it goes to diet. There's something called an ivory salmon that comes out of New Zealand is one example. And it's literally ivory. It's white in its color. Really? Yeah. And it's, you know, it, the face you made is perfect because it's a little bit of a paradigm shift when we're eating salmon. We don't expect to see it white. Um, it's a little bit um, sweeter, actually, in flavor. Really? To me. Yeah, it is. So, okay, so give that about another 30 seconds and we're going to start adding our other ingredients. Then we're going to let this cook down together until we're ready in the next segment to start our salmon and our toasts. Okay? All right. Well, and ask uh, one last thing. I want why, why are the what, garlic things so big? Okay, the reason we have our garlic sliced as opposed to having it minced is because when we mince it, it will cook up very, very quickly, and we also run the risk of it burning depending on the heat. With this garlic being sliced instead, we're actually infusing the flavor of the garlic across the dish, and it will cook down significantly, so it's not like you're going to end up with one big unhappy bite of garlic at some point. Oh, okay. Okay? 
I like a lot of garlic, and so I was like, oh, she's cheating me on my garlic here, but evidently not. I will You're not, not cheat cheating you. me. No, I'm You're not. not cheating I'm, me. I'm just prolonging the You're efficacy of the flavor. You're enhancing the flavor. I am. I am. I have that <laughs> right. reputation, you know. Okay, so I'm going to continue to keep an eye on this, and uh, then we'll double back here in the next couple of minutes and okay. move forward. Okay. All right. I'll be ready for you. Um, and then we are, again, going to start that salmon. So.